for John Papua! FK of Fox Boxing Promotions at Friday Night Fight Number 3. Prepare for War presents this three two minute round bout. And now boxing out the blue corner. And together for Jack Ferguson! Have the music off, please. And now boxing out of the red corner. Put your hands together for John! Your referee is Mr. Kenny Rainford. Uh, let's get him ready. It's time to face the ring. Fifth bout of the evening, and uh, we're going to see Jack Ferguson from uh, Manchester Fighters fighting John Popplewell from Ludus Magnus. I think we're about to see fireworks. Um, a lot of sidestep movement there from from Jack. Popwell just driving forward at his opponent at the minute. He's a strong, strong guy. Nice. Oh, straight away. Left and a right landed there from, from Ferguson. I think Jack's Sorry, from Popperwell, do apologise. I think Jack's going to try and work on his reach, whereas John's going to get in and uh, the dirty boxing's going to be there. I think we're going to see a, a lot of shots to the ribs. A lot of hooks there, just hitting the gloves at the minute though. Great Quite finding the target. Landed a couple there though, yeah. but kind of shrugged them off. I'm surprised to see Jack wanting to get in as close, especially with his reach. Yeah, he's circling a lot though, isn't he? He's covering a lot of distance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just reaching out on that jab. He keeps that right hand very far back though when he jabs, leaves himself open. I think John is currently sounding them out. Yeah, Ferguson, I think he needs to tighten that defence up. He's, uh, he's looking so far and he's, re he's relying on his distance. His move up there, you see the left nice. there, his hands down, he's not. I think Ferguson's relying on the uppercut. Yeah, when he throws, he's very, very open. Very, very open. Um, Shots start landing, he, you know, he covers up, but I think um, if I was Neil Wayne now, I'd be telling him to look for those counter shots, maybe some feints, getting to open up and, and, and come over the top because his hands are very, very wide. Great first round. I can see John coming back in, going straight through the middle. Been a lot around to try and stay away, but maybe just keep that jab to keep him on the end of it, you know, so we can't follow him. 
Very, very long arms. I am half tempted to ask him to grab me a pint from bar. <laughs> so we go round two. Yeah, no, straight yeah, away straight he's using the jab. Yeah. And I think you're right there. I think he's kind of probably did a vice hand. He's uh, came out with a good combination. I've got a feeling he's going to keep try and keep John at bay. John's going to want to move in on the inside. Yeah, Papa Well sort of changed his level a lot. Oh, and a lovely oh, oh, oh. left. <laughs> down to the body. Great head Good head movement. head movement under there. <laughs> they don't call him the punisher for picking daisies. Yeah, superb <laughs> level change again. A nice overhand right. Some tremendous oh, power in Papa Well's shot. Showing that ball oh. over there, but he paid the price for that. <laughs> Straight into the ribs. That's what showboating can get you. Ladies and gents. Oh, oh he's dropped. Oh, oh. I don't think that was the final shot that did that. I think he was already on his way down. And that just sealed the deal. Uh, he's at, no, that's him done. What a win. So great win there for John Popperwell, the Punisher. Great sign of respect there. It's nice to see fighters doing it. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, let's see from all boxes. Wow! John, John, let's have you center ring. John, where are you going? Get in here. Stand up on the MA, well done. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's see from all boxes. 52 seconds into the second round, the only one by TKO, John Popperwell! I'm going to put Jack Ferguson for your winner, John Popperwell. Can we have a bit of volume on the mic, please?